Hey, how's it going? And welcome to part two of this mini series on how to produce music with Expand. I am Stephen from understandingaudio.com. And if you haven't checked out part one yet, I highly recommend that you do that first. There is a link in the description down below. So the whole idea of this mini series is that I'm trying to prove that you have a lot of great sounds at your disposal with stock plugins that come with your DAW or free plugins that you can acquire very easily. And in part one of this video, I went over how you can create a really nice drum sound by using some of the inbuilt patches that come with Expand. In this video, I'm going to be talking about chords and pads. And moving on from where I left off in the last video, I've now added a piano part. Now this piano part is just a very simple A minor chord progression. And the piano that I'm using is under Acoustic Pianos and Blues Piano in Expand. I took out the effects and I also adjusted the effects on the individual parts themselves. So let me just mute the click track and play you what this simple part sounds like in solo. Now I quite like the sound of that piano and I can add as many delays and reverbs and whatnot later to flesh out the sound of that a little bit more. But right now I want to focus on adding some pads to the sound as well to flesh out the overall production. And once again I'll be using expand so I'll just duplicate this track. And I really like the chord progression that I've used so I just want to find a synth to use as a pad. So I'll come under polysynths and I'll go for this one. See what these sound like together. Okay, not bad, but let's take these out of solo so we can hear what they sound like with the drums. Okay, let's keep looking for a more suitable sound. Okay, I like this synth. I'm just gonna name this hard cut. And I wanna blend it in a little bit better to the track because right now it's a little overpowering. Cool, so let's add another layer and duplicate this hard cut track. Let's add another polysynth. So moving down, okay, fat chords. That's a no from me. Let's move down a bit further. Grand modular. Take out the delay. A little bit of the chorus. Do those three sound like just together without the drums? Okay, so this one is called Grand Modular. I think I'll add one more layer, something with a little bit more of a high end to it. Same chords again. And let's see what we can find again in polysynths. Actually, first of all, let me unsolo these and play back. All right, something high end. A 
probably a little too much. How about this? Alright, I like that sound, but let's get it mixed in a little bit better. Okay, what does it sound like with the drums? All right, cool, I think that's a really nice blend of chord and pad sounds. Now next, as I did in the last video as well, I wanna get these MIDI tracks out into audio tracks. In the last video, I told you that I record those MIDI tracks out to audio tracks. Now you can still do that if you want, but between the last video and this video, one of my subscribers over at understandingaudio.com, Mr. Uli Heuter, and I'm sorry if I got the pronunciation of your name wrong, Uli contacted me and let me know that in Pro Tools 12, you do not need to record out MIDI to audio tracks. So all you need to do is create four stereo audio tracks and just drag these MIDI tracks down. Et voila, all your MIDI tracks are now audio tracks. That is a feature of Pro Tools 12 that completely passed me by. And that is the beauty of being part of a website like understandingaudio.com that Uli could just contact me and let me know about this. So please go over to Uli's website, uliheuter.de and share the love with him. He is a keyboard and synthesizer magician of sorts. And I'm very grateful for him pointing this out for me and for you in turn. So let me get these audio tracks named and color coded appropriately. All right, so now I have my audio tracks labeled and color coded the way I want them. But the only drawback to this drag and drop approach for the audio tracks is that the levels of the tracks don't carry over. So you just need to adjust these to match the levels above. So this 0.4 matches this piano instrument track. On the hard cut, we want to make sure that that is at minus 27.2 to match this. On the grand modular, we want that to be minus 14.2. And on the 12 string, we want that to be minus 13.4. So now the level should sound the same as before. All right, so the only thing that I noticed was that there's a note here that sticks out in this track. So I'm just gonna delete the second half of this loop and duplicate the first part and slight crossfade. And now my chord and pad parts should be complete. So now I'm sure you're really starting to see just how easy it is to put together music using stock plugins and stock instruments within your DAW. Now I feel Expand itself is a really, really powerful instrument. And so far we put together a nice drum beat. We've got some piano sounds and some chord pad sounds in. We're gonna flesh that out further in the next parts. But you can see that just by playing in a simple chord progression and layering together some sounds that you're starting to get an overall feel for how this is gonna sound when it's complete. So we've now gone from absolutely nothing to having a beat, adding in some chords, creating a mood, and adding in some layered sounds. Now this is something that I just put together very quickly based on my own experiences and my own taste. And what you do and what I do are two completely different things. And that's obviously the beauty of music and being able to use such a simple tool to create something unique. And unique is a very important word. The reason I created this mini series is so that I can help you make unique professional music very, very quickly. And what's more, I wanna share with you another resource that's gonna help you achieve that goal a lot quicker than you realize. I've got my free guide, the one hack that guarantees a unique pro sounding mix just for you to take away, read and apply to your own mixes whenever you feel like it. So to download the guide and get similar results to all of my subscribers over at understandingaudio.com, all you need to do is go to getpromixes.com and download the guide completely for free. Giving away a paid product completely for free 
is my way of saying thank you for watching these videos. And if you did like what you saw in this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like what you saw in this video, well then like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with part three quicker than you can say Arnold Schwarzenegger. And in the meantime, keep having fun making great music.